Good mechanics appreciate good tools. There's just a lot of in the way. So pulling these injectors was a bit of a chore. This is like glass. That's why we use carbide scrapers, but I'm not a real field mechanic. Remember that, I only play one on TV. Back to it, let's get scraping, baby. Welcome to the channel. Look at these slick uh, Mueller scrapers. These are nice, I really like them. Tools don't make the mechanic at the end of the day. Tools don't make the mechanic, but good mechanics appreciate good tools. And it does make your job a little easier, a little more enjoyable. I'm cleaning the, the surface. All around where all the, the firings seat, that's here, that's your firing. It's sharp, I've been using this for a long time now, for like, what, six months? The Snap-on ones have like a re replaceable blade, which is nice, but like, blades are still expensive. When you're cleaning heads off, you don't wanna use power tools. Don't be, an, don't be an idiot, please. You don't want to break these edges off. That's why we use carbide scrapers. You want that nice sharp edge on a large scale. You got a nice sharp edge and it clamps your gasket evenly right to the edge of the gasket as opposed to having that broken edge when you, when you use your die grinder and you take that little bit off the edge and they call it breaking the edge. And you just keep like nice steady pressure on it. It doesn't cock and then grab the edge. We don't want to deburr ahead. We don't want to break the edge. You want that nice sharp edge there so that it's clamping the gasket. So pulling these injectors was a bit of a chore. That's, that's actually why we pulled the head on this. And we used to have to do this at the deal. We'd have to pull the head half the time too if these injectors were that bad. So I got my buddy Dan, so shout out to Dan, the machinist. He machined this special tool for me. Uh, it's just an adapter for my slide hammer. You take the solenoid off the top. There's a solenoid that screws on here. Screw that on. The injectors are already bad. They're done. They're garbage. So you screw that on. Hook that up to your slide hammer. Give her a couple of wax. Then you get a nice straight pull on your injector. It's not an easy thing to pull out. So normally there's a valve cover here. There's a manifold here. There's just, there's just a lot of in the way when you're taking these off. And like even now, like that's these are get really stuck in there. If you can just get a straight shot to your injector, you'll have your DPF here, you can take that off. Then you can hook your slide hammer to them and get a nice straight shot. But either way, when you're doing injectors on these, you're gonna have to do some, some tear down just to get to them. It's not like on a Cummins or a Cat or something easy where you just pull the valve cover and they're inside. I mean, the nice thing with those is they're under the valve cover. So like on a Cat or a Cummins or something, or on a normal engine, they're under the valve cover. They're soaked in oil the whole, their whole life. You know, there's oil on top of them. There's fuel going through them. They don't really rust in place except a little bit of carbon underneath on the bottom part. This is not as critical, this side, because this is a, not sealing combustion gases or anything. But we still want to clean it. We can go over it and give ourselves a nice surface for the gaskets to, to seat against. These are your intake runners keep all that debris from falling in there. Small clearances on that. You know, any little bit of speck of dirt can make a difference. Yeah. Did I mention how much I like these scrapers? I really like these scrapers. It's really satisfying, that's the word. It's like, uh, you know when you watch somebody or like uh, do like, or when you mow the lawn and you go like row by row and you're just like, I don't know, that's Gucci, man. You just, or when you're shaving, it's just like satisfying things. Or like steam cleaning carpets, that's a good one. Everyone watches those videos, right? Or is it just me? But when you watch people like clean carpets on YouTube, you know, the carpet's like super dirty and it gets like cleaner and cleaner as I go, like. You see all this like glazing here, right? Oh, it looks dirtier than it actually is. 
You guys can't feel it. Like all this, just don't don't worry about that. That's not what we're talking about. But this, this is like glass. And that's the nice thing with these carbides being nice and flat and machined and like very very precise edges, is it gets that nice clean surface finish. You know, that's like real smooth. That's what you want there. Nice. That's the scraper by Mueller, carbide scraper. They don't pay us to do this but they did send these to us to try out and give our honest feedback. So that's my honest feedback. Definitely something worth looking into if you do a lot of engine work or flanges, machine flanges, and you want to clean them up. Great for scraping off 515 actually and, and anaerobic sealants. So check it out. Uh, hope you enjoy the little, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it, a demo of it. Thanks for watching. See ya. If anybody out there is interested in the carbide scraper, if you buy it through Fortis HD, it supports the channel, which makes us do more videos and all that fun stuff. Get the big chooch! I love these scrapers so much. And if you don't have a set, you should go buy a set. Link in the description. Check them out. New products, all that fun stuff, all the cool shit that we play with every day. You can buy it too. Oh! <laughs>